Hello, hello, what's going on guys? How y'all doing today? Yeah, I'm here doing an early stream. Can you believe that? Got all my chores done today, so. <laughs> Not in chores, but like my errands and stuff. Doing some cleaning around the house. Spring being around and stuff. Summer setting in been kind of lazy about it let's see let's uh switch scenes today we are playing as muddy rivers that's right uh we might be able to get some um prison guard role play i'm sure it really depends who is awake so I'm not a full watchman yet, so I can't just go in there, clock on duty or whatever. Alright, let's pull up some stuff that I need. It's a letter. a lot now absolute maximum security represented by the black absolutely no visitation of prisoners to be searched frequently with forces authorized and when physical aggression is represented by inmates lockdown is achieved when aggression levels are still hot this really can only be set by DOPC backslash marshal the exceptions to the visitation or if this is need only so lawyers, medical emergencies, law enforcement, and any other cases subject to the BOC approval. 
Keep in mind, even if the lethal force is authorized at red and lockdown, that does not mean you should insta and cap someone or written one. Okay. It's a lot of information we're supposed to read. Warn inmate of the alert level. We can search them. Let them all know lethal force is authorized and everything. Wow. Where's the report? All right. Please actively patrol the water surrounding Siska. Be aware of your If you notice the inmate lingering near the shore, please escort them closer to the walls. Others. Um, the time being, this good has been placed in lockdown. I open this up. Holy shit, what the hell happened? Oh, shit. They're after Daniel Baker, so that's what's going on. Oh, shit. There, uh, there's been some stuff going on while I've been taking it easy over here, you know? Oh, let me turn my camera on. Let's see. Once the transport was halted by the masked individuals working there. Jump out of the wagon. Jump as soon as the wagon stopped. Holy cow, when did all this happen? Apparently, uh, one of the prisoners that was being transported tried escaping. It seems like. Sure, I can find my card when we're plugged in, but first I gotta be able to. Uh... All right, dang man, let's let's find out in character what everything's been going on, shall we? All right. Oh, turn the game volume on. One second. Muddy rivers. I try to do uh, some stuff uh, before trying to clock on. So let's see. Mm. Outfit. Let's do. Uh, adjust the sleeves. There we go. Okay. 
Oh, honey, what do you mean to you here? Yeah. Howdy, my name is Muddy. Just woke up. Uh, yeah. Let me stretch here. Oh, you can go in. Yeah, I gotta get to the fishmonger. Oh, okay. Oh, by the way, uh, if you need to, like, cook your fish or anything like that, I have a cooking pot inside the, the furnace there. I also have a crafting oh. table you're more than welcome to use. Oh, no, I don't need it right now. Thank you, though. Uh, all right. You have a good one. <laughs> that was really weird. Let's see. Let's go find out what's been going on. Going to roads. Morning, mister. Morning. Uh oh. Bit right. I wonder if that's because of my camera. I bet it's because of my camera. Let me change the properties. Um. What do I have it on? Hopefully that will fix it. I didn't realize my, my stream was so unstable right now. Checking the uh, well, stay consistent. It did drop a few, few frames. Hopefully, it's running better.
making sure that I don't have anything else open that shouldn't be open. Seems to be running pretty smooth. So if I lag a little bit, um, I don't know what it could be cost. OBS is saying it's stable, but Twitch is saying it's not. Bit weird. But the last telegram. Ari. Like a month ago. Hello. How do you? Who was the last telegram from? Uh, my sister. What, Marla? <laughs> yeah. Who else? Stand top of these things. Now you know to send him letters. Yes, yeah, I've exactly. been told. Exactly. Thank you. I won't forget now. Mm -hmm. Mitch, sit, let me know when. I'm about 200 grain off someone for cheap. So I'll be able to make more hay if needed. I'm about to buy 200 grain off someone for cheap. So I'll do it. Okay. And all the messages were on June 4th. I was about. Send some, just send them this in the general reminder to include the names of the deputies. Yeah, a lot of people clocking in. Yeah. 
and Valentine. All right. All right. What kind of food do we get? Got beef jerky. Let's go take a trip to St. Denis, huh? Let's go to St. Denis, boys. Let's go to St. Denis. Ball. Good old Muddy. He's on the up and up. Why don't we take a look at these horses over here? I have a price. Oh, 
Oh shit. <laughs> Alright, Crayola. Let's see if this horse will let me pick up my hat. <laughs> Damn that hurt. Good looking horse. What kind of horse is this? What kind of horse is this? What is this? Kentucky Saddler? Good looking horse. Huh. I kind of like this one. I guess we'll, we'll just get going. Good looking horse. That's a good thing I got bone bro. You see what old St. Denis is up to around these hours, huh? Don't you think we can get some business done today? I right. Seems like I'm dropping frames here and there. You notice that? Every so often. Beep, 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 beep.
We're just mosey on to sight and need. We got people. I got time, right? <laughs> Means I can save a bit more and maybe. from here. Yep. Send one back. Any letters? Why are you looking for lip? Uh, potentially. I said, why are you looking for lip? Oh, uh, they, um, it said me. Um, um, mm. oh. oh. Really nothing going on, I guess. Hmm. Let's look at our bank account. Let's see how much money we have. Five dollars in this bank. Ten dollars in the other bank. Oh god. That is terrible. Terrible. How much cash do I have on me? Eleven dollars. See what all those horses over there are for. See what's going on. Horse oh, it's open. Uh, 
Oh, look at all the people I, I, here. I, 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 what's, I, I asked you not to fight uh, in the saloon. Bye, Liv. Great whiskey. Uh, you think Bye, Liv. Bye, Liv. Bye, Bye Thank you for coming. Fuck you, Maxine. <laughs> A <laughs> map? Howdy. I'm terrible at riddles. Easy. Actually, I actually do want to try something that I really want to like, yeah. learn how to make. <laughs> um, you know the password, so you can uh, uh, mm -hmm. What can I get you, mister? Uh, the daisy cocktail. Yeah. I don't know if you hmm. have it, though, but it looks and sounds... Uh, let's see here. I d I think I know What's the... I see that your sign says whiskey, right? 75 cents, but then it says also $2. What does that mean? We serve it on black ferris and what you need to rate it. Which is really uh -huh. nice give us a little bit more by a machine makes it. It's lovely. Okay. Uh, yeah. What, what kind of thing yeah, a couple of... Sorry. Uh, what kind of whiskey is Quill? Oh, you don't want to apologize, mister. I say, I don't say I recognize In? you. Oh, um, Muddy Rivers. Of course, of course, it's you, Mr. Rivers. <laughs> yeah, you think so I should... I never can remember you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, if I can get a couple of shots of that Irish whiskey oh, you're talking about. Black Rose. Absolutely. You need and to my coffee at some point. Uh, I'm sorry, do I? You needed to speak with me, um, it's, Sunny. It's, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was more for Sunny than it was for you. Okay. I'm stuck on feather. Thank you. Yeah, <sighs> two back. There you go. Thank you very kindly, Mr. Rivers. Mm -hmm. oh. 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 Hat? Oh, well. Oh. It's that thing. Oh, that's pretty oh, damn good. I was overcomplicating it. Uh, yes. Perfect. Oh, oh my. Of course. Well, go ahead. Now that I have access um, to the secret menu, what other items are black on the menu? Oh, is that my headset? Uh, go ahead. It's in my office upstairs. Uh, I'm gonna be upstairs talking to these two lovely people for just a moment. Howdy. Howdy. Hey. We will be upstairs, all right, Sonny? Absolutely. Okay. If you would please follow me, I'd be more than happy to give you that. Hey, you Howdy. Hey, you too. Oh, I'll just stick with the cola. Yeah, um... Yes. When, when will you have the time to, to speak? I can speak to you in just a moment. Let me just fill out these orders. Can you take these upstairs? Yeah, sure. Lift for the people, please. Yes, yes. Thank you. You're the best. Anytime. Uh, who's in the shop? Yeah, two whiskey, two black rose whiskeys upstairs to lift, please. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Monarchy. Thank you. Nino, how you doing? Oh yeah. Oh, I spoke with Leo about that. Thank you. Can I get you a No, <laughs> thank you, son. Yeah, look, if you got the uh, the money for it, <sighs> more than welcome to give. What oh. the hell is on your lip? All right. Leave the boy alone. I think, it look, <laughs> I think he actually pulls it okay. out quite nicely. You're fine by me. Thank you. Is, did you actually grow it, or did you? Yes, I, I grew it. Because oh, I, that what I seem was? to remember when you were. <laughs> uh, can I get you two anything to drink? I need to talk to Mr. Rivers. Uh, okay. Real quickly, and then I'll uh, open you back. But what can I get you two before I quickly run off? Uh, 
Not today, please. There is so much on his plate right now, he can't. Everything is beyond fucked. <gasps> Yeah, it's... Oh my god. Anyway. Wait, Father? Uh. Oh. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> okay. I can tell quickly. Yeah, no, I'm fine. Okay. Yeah, uh, it's, it's nothing serious. Hold on. You can hear me, right? Yeah, yeah, just fine. Um, I was wondering, do you happen to know a couple of kids, uh, but one by, uh, Hazel Hawkins and the other one, Eddie Bacon? Only in passing, but not personally, what do I? Well, I mean, I was, it's not this, I, I just kind of grew a kind of a soft spot. I don't know if you know, uh, know that. I got hired on as the DOP after all, and um, and you know they're just a couple of youngsters, and and uh, thinking about hiring them on uh, uh, for my horse food business and stuff like that. That's but, a very sweet idea. I recommend reaching out to Ar Ar Archer Cassidy. He knows them. Archer Cassidy. Yep. I don't think I ever met the fella. Uh, is he uh, awake during these hours? Yeah, yeah, he's awake right now. He's somewhere in the city. He might be over at Carlos. Oh, okay. Okay. He's yeah, I'll, I'll reach. Oh, okay. I'll reach out to him. Yeah, um. That's a. Golly, uh. They don't know how to. They're, they're resorting to, uh, you know, robbing stores and stuff like that, and. And I was it hoping... happens all too often. Yeah, just I I understand. I yeah, I was kind of hoping, uh, you know, you'd be able to speak to him maybe one day if you do see him and stuff like that. Because uh, uh, well, I I pretty much trust you, and you, you know. So, uh, but I'm gonna try to maybe take him under my wing and see if I can get That's him. Really uh, good idea. I like that. Um, unfortunately oh. right now I'm oh. too overloaded to be able to really talk to them, but reach out to Archie, he can probably help you. Okay, I'll go do that. Um, sorry for taking too much of your time. You look kind of no, 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 I'm sorry. I'm stressed all hell. There's a lot. It's okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I can't give you the time you need. Yeah, um, if it's there's... It's a very sweet idea. Yeah, uh, if there's every, anything you ever need, uh, uh, you know, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, this is so. the same one to you, Mr. Rivers. Truly. Yeah. If I see them, I'll also push me all the way, all right? <laughs> all right. You have a good one, then. And you. It was good seeing you. Yep. Let's see if we can find these people. Howdy. Anybody around here?
wonder where they went. I bet they were. Well, let's walk to the telegram station. Maybe I can just send him a telegram or something. Sunny was busy. Yeah, look at Muddy. Walks like, uh, all stiff. Like, nobody back in that alley, nobody behind me. I should clean that up. What's going on? Not much. Ah, pretty good, pretty good. Decided to wake up a little earlier than usual. Mm. Hey, I got a quick uh, question for you, Nathan. Um, do you know an Archer Cassidy? Yes. Uh, do you know if he... I heard he's awake uh, around right now. Um, do you happen to know if he's here in St. Denis or out and about? Yeah, he's just talking to somebody. He'll be over here in a minute. Oh, okay. Good. Good. So, uh, how are things going for you? Yeah, not bad. Can't complain. Do you still have that double action? Uh, absolutely. Do you mind if I take a look at it? I might buy it off you. Yeah, it, well, it's on my horse, so let me go get my horse real quick. Oh, 
That was a bit weird. Double action. Are you good? Yeah. Uh, yeah, well. You still selling them raffle tickets, Michael? Huh? You still selling them raffle tickets? I am. Are they 20 or 40 dollars? 20 for one. Can I get another one? Sure you can. Uh, one more for you. So, uh, what's the... the the raffle go, going for. Um, the raffle is for a customized weapon. Oh. Um, that's gonna be a weekly thing I run. Okay. How much do you want for the double action, what, Muddy? Tell you what, for you, thirty dollars. Thirty. All right, sounds good to me. William, why don't you just give uh, Muddy her twenty, and uh, I'll give him ten. Okay. Oh, much appreciate. Yeah, um, how much are the raffle tickets, anyways? Uh, twenty dollars. Okay. Yeah, no problem. All right, thank you, babe. Uh, no problem, appreciate it. Yeah, twenty dollars. We're gonna be doing a weekly. Um, the price of the weapons and all that. It'll always be different. Oh. There you go. I'd like to buy one ticket, please. Sure. Sure. Right there. All right. Have you done for one? All right. Thank you. Uh, yeah, the gun will always change every week. Um, but uh, yeah, you're always going to be guaranteed to get your money's worth, you know. It's gonna Ooh, be a fully okay. customized weapon. Um, all the all the niceties of a weapon gunsmithing that you can think of. I haven't seen my wife. Wow. <laughs> I I you know I'm I'm pretty horrible at winning things, even when it comes to uh, <laughs> play poker and stuff. So <laughs> I might not win, but it's uh, hey, but it's very interesting. You know what I mean? Like uh, the chances are very slim, but you never know, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Always worth the shot. I always enter into a raffle. Whenever I see one, you never know. Uh, this really is just look of the draw. So I see a lot of people wait, are awake during these hours. Is that normal? Yeah, especially here in the city. Really? Huh. Yeah. Uh, this is usually when you will see the city most awake. I'll be done. And there's Archie. Archie. Muddy Rivers is here. Looking to speak to you. Yeah, uh, yeah, I was wondering 
Uh, do you, I was told. Oh, I was told by uh by Sunny that um, you may know Eddie Baker and Hazel Hawkins. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm kind of leaning towards um. You know, taking them under my wing. You know what I mean? Um. Uh, well, because I had met him a while back and stuff like that. Uh, and Hazel was in bad shape. Uh, she got kicked by a horse and stuff, and then, and then later on, she robbed the store and stuff. Right? I mean, a bad thing. I mean, when she robs a store. She robs, a, or they rob a store. They rob a store. But no big deal, right? But um, I was thinking about uh, put, you know, maybe give him a chance to uh, work on the, the horse food business that I have. And maybe potential, like, you know, teach them what I know. Uh, I was wondering, do you think, uh, do you support that, that, you know? Should I go ahead and do that? I mean. I think that there's no harm in asking or trying. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they're good people. And mm -hmm. they seem to want to work. I know they were a bit cleaning up the uh, black mastiff over there. So the Fowlers have, have been helping them out as well. Um, but, you know, I think, uh, I think why not? Absolutely. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, I, I'm glad to hear it because uh, uh, Hazel did reach back out to me because I, let's see, what was it, about three or four days ago? Uh, I sent a telegram saying, hey, please come in contact with me or send me a telegram. And we can dis discuss more details about the job and stuff like that. But, you know, it, 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 it's just like... You know, I grew a soft spot for them. You know what I mean? It's just like, um, you know, there's other ways to, to uh, you know what I mean? Uh, kind of like grow here in the territory. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. I, I was in that same spot too, and I don't know where I'd be without people like you willing to take me in. Um, so I, I think. Hazel might literally be in the telegram office right now. Oh, she is. What I'm about her brother? Just, just there. I have not seen Eddie yet. Oh, okay. Um, she yeah. might literally be just in there. Hold on, let me get a look. Okay. Okay. Didn't see her in there, but I think I know where she might be. Okay, yeah, I'm willing to give it a go if you think it's going to, you know, benefit them in the long run, you know. Hey, any opportunity is a good one, no? Um, mm -hmm. And as far as I know, they aren't involved in a whole lot other than just kind of cleaning the black mastiff. So maybe they would like some extra work and stuff like that, you know. Yeah, I'll even get around to uh, training them how to cook, how to craft and everything. Uh, I got a cookbook that's. Uh, it's, it's pretty much like a basic cookbook is it's enough to get them started you know what I mean and uh, yeah, they can do so. what the, they can do whatever they want with it and uh, mm. I also got a house for them if they want to live there you know uh, it's a spare bedroom they can live they can have and I'll sleep on the couch and stuff I mean it's a pretty good sized house you know yeah absolutely yeah. Um, she might be in the black mastiff as we speak what, uh, do you what? Know that's no i have no clue that's what i, I was like what's what was that <laughs> it's a it's a it's a little pub. um fancy walk we can okay if you want. yeah i don't know if she's actually gonna be in there but she might be okay yeah uh where's it at oh yeah it's just down this way a little bit down some roads into more of the, I don't know, the sketchy looking part of town. Right. But still, it's not bad. And, and, you know, of course, this is where I lead you into a dark alleyway and take all your things, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have much on me. All I have is like 11 no. <laughs> and worth it. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of slices of beef jerky, too, baby. <laughs> oh, that's pretty tempting. <laughs> So, um, did you ever get your business up and going? Uh, I think the last time you were talking about it, I had a, 
had a dinner date with the lady over here at uh Barletti's place. Oh, I don't know. It must yeah. have been a month back, I guess. Yeah, we uh we opened once already, um, and now we're actually opening for the second time on Friday. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I, I think I might be around for Friday then. Yeah, it's uh Friday at five thirty. Uh, all you got to do is just tell me if you want to reserve a table, and then pick what kind of table you want, and then I put your name down, and that's it. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, I'll probably have to reserve a table. Uh, first, I gotta find out how much money I have in the bank and stuff. And, um, oh yeah, it's no big deal. No big deal. Take your time. Got until Friday to do it anyway, so you know, think it over. I've got, uh, so, like, like I said, there's different kinds of tables. The VIP table and the high tables are already out. Um, but the I do still have mid tables and low tables. Those are a little bit cheaper. Uh, the mid tables are thirty-five dollars a person, but you know that comes with like a whole meal, so you're you're basically just paying for a spot, and then you know you get the whole package. So, um, uh, okay, so it's thirty, yeah. pretty much like thirty-five bucks a person. So if I invite like two other people with me, I'm looking at about a hundred and five. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like okay. Um, so it's really nothing crazy. You know, everybody just ponies up thirty-five bucks, and then you get. The entree, the uh, the appetizer, the entree, the dessert. There's live mm -hmm. entertainment. There's an open bar, um, and all that good stuff. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, just something to consider if you if you want. Just uh, all you gotta do is just I, I've been sending out public telegrams about it. So in you know, my contact info is in there, like my PO number and everything. So mm -hmm. just send me a telegram, tell me what you want, and I'll put your name down, and it's all good. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll do that. I'll even. Mm -hmm. Save you as a contact. Oh yeah. Uh -oh. uh. Damn. I know she was looking for the Fowlers, and they own this place. I honestly, if you really want to find them, what I would do is just keep your eye on public telegrams because the Black Mastiff opens a lot. Just usually after the Four Horsemen closes. Um, uh oh, do they run this? Yeah. Or well, Hazel and Eddie don't. The Fowlers do. Oh, okay. I see. Oh, oh, yeah. They're the ones that hired them on, right? Or something like that. Yep, yep. So they clean this place up uh, when they're done every once in a while, and I'm sure they get paid for it and, and mm -hmm. all that. But um, yeah, this is. They are here very frequently. I, I, every time I've been in here, I've seen Hazel, and a couple times I've seen Eddie. So uh, if you're going yeah. to strike a conversation with them, this is the place to be. Yeah, I saw quite a few people over there at the Four Horsemen. So uh, yeah, might they probably went over there or something like that. Actually, you know, I don't know why I didn't think about that. Hazel's probably in the Four Horsemen, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's quite all right. I mean, no big deal. Um, I'm going to be around here in St. Denis anyways. I've got to check with telegrams. Uh. Yeah. Oh, uh, So are you going to the Four Horsemen? I mean, should, I'll just walk with you over there. Kind of. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's go. I'm gonna be bouncing from there to the telegram station like a ton just because I'm trying to keep an eye on if anybody wants a table and stuff. But okay, you know, go check a telegram, come back, take a shot, go check a telegram. <laughs> so, um, tell me more about the dinners and stuff like that. Uh, what are our options like for the $35 package? Like? So the $35 package gets you all the full course meal. The menu changes every time we open. So uh, this time around, we're doing um, fresh baked bread with butter, or you can do add jam onto it made by, oh god, what the hell is the company? Hold on, let me check my notes. I should let you know what that is. Um, oh, okay. Uh, just give me a second here. Okay, it's Sweet Double B's Jam. Sweet Double B's Jam. Who yeah. makes it? Um, I got this from Miss Bryce. Miss you know Miss Bryce. Her name sounds familiar. Yeah, she's amazing. If you've ever seen her, if you hear her voice or you see her, you probably recognize her. Uh, and she oh. actually um, gave me this little business card with a good description of kind of what they do. So uh, I guess I'll just read it off to you. Uh, we hope this fresh homemade jam brings a little smile to your face. 
Just the simple things in life that can bring the sweetest happiness. Enjoy this jam uh, as a colorful spread on toast. Don't forget the butter for a perfect breakfast treat. For more of the adventurous, consider pairing it with some of your favorite che cheeses. Uh, um, mix it into yogurt for a tangy twist. Dollop it right on top of your oatmeal or even use that as a glaze uh, for that fine rotisserie you've been planning. Uh, wow. We dearly appreciate your supporting a little business and, and I hope you enjoy every your spoonful. Bless you and thank you uh, for you from us at Sweet Double B. Oh, sounds delightful. Especially the rotisserie. Put that on chicken. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. So it's really good, Jim. Um, so I, I got that made by them. Uh, and we'll just mm -hmm. have bread as the appetizer. Uh, you can either have it with or without jam. And then the entree is going to be either uh, you can choose between uh, baked fish or steak and potatoes. Oh, um, fish. Huh? Yeah. And then um, the dessert for the night is going to be apple cobbler. And then the drinks are actually more wide variety because uh, I actually partnered with the Four Horsemen. And Lip is going to be there running the open bar. Oh, nice. Okay. So can yep. chug down a, a beer or maybe even a whiskey if I want one. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's all it's all open, so um, you don't have to pay anything extra aside from what you've already paid. Uh, the only things you would need to bring extra cash for is, of course, to tip your tip your waiter, tip the hostess if you want. Um, right. We're actually going to do a ten dollar devil's dice tournament. Um, so everybody puts in ten, and winner takes all. Okay. Uh, let's. Let's make a stop here at the bank. I want to see how much I made so far. Oh, and there's going to be two live performances so far. Um, two? Music. Yep. Mr. Isaac O'Neill and Agatha Bromstumpf. I, I say her name wrong. I guarantee it, but... Oh man, I guess I gotta go to Valentine to collect my check. Can't do it here. Yeah. I'll okay. You. Yeah, I'll I'll have to make a run over there later today or something like that. Oh yeah, it's fine. I mean, you have until you're at the front entrance of the restaurant to pay, right? So you have literally until five thirty. Um, when you step up, if you wanted to pay there, my hostess will be collecting payments. If you want to pay me sooner. That's totally fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, that sounds good. Let's see. I just started a job uh, as a prison guard at the deal, the, you know, Department of Prisons. No shit, that's amazing. Yeah. Um. Converted from uh, being a store robber and a murderer. <laughs> Good. Yeah, so I'm trying to, you know, stay on the straight path, you know. And... Oh, good for you, man. Glad to hear it. Yeah. Well, thank you. Fucking 15. Give me a break. Oh, Carlo, no. Talk to you again. Fuck you. Throw me. Oh, okay. 16. <laughs> He's showing a fucking jack. Yeah, I'm not gonna push my luck. Watch him pull a 20 out of his mm -hmm. ass right here. Cocksucker. Oh. I'll be your good luck charm, charm Carlo. Watch. <laughs> oh no. You this fucking guy. Oh no, wait, did you start already? Yeah, you'll be able to sit down if you want. Yeah, go ahead. Alright, let's do this. See? Good luck, Charm. Watch this. Bang. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh, motherfucker! Oh, oh boy! Sh 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 should we go now? Uh, Showing yeah, a pen, like, uh, of course. You show the pen this every the fucking business round. meeting. Oh no! I just had the business meeting. I came back here just now. Fuck this shit! I'm hitting. 
I guess I'm hitting now too. You. Hey, don't worry. He's gonna have a fucking twenty. Yeah, I know. It's it's either a nine. Then twenty in my fucking hand. You know what? I'm just gonna stand. Oh, oh, right. Here comes a six. Oh, yeah. nice. All right, so folks, I, I'm sorry to say this is the last round, so if you like a drink, it's the time to grab it. Hey, oh, Faye. You can get on the poker table. Hey, just let me know. Great. How about you? He's in his head now. Hey. It's a really nice place. Anyone who want to play poker? Really what was it? Okay. I'll be um, uh, Chrissy, I'm going to go through the process. I could probably do it a little bit later. Take a nap. <laughs> It's yeah, some absolutely wonderful here, to talk to you. Good luck that, on your yeah. business endeavors. You. Mr. Frederick, Madame Darcy, you take it easy out there and feel free. Right, all going all in. And I oh my will. god. Jesus yes. Christ. Oh. If you ever have a chance, make sure you come yeah, up nice. to uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Show me up. Uh, I will you definitely show a fucking do nine. I have to stand there. It was good meeting you, finally. I uh, made my way up here. Didn't realize I would see you, so... It was, it was good. Good timing. <laughs> uh, no problem. You you take it easy, all right? Oh, oh no! Oh no! Come on! Come on! Yes. Oh yeah! All right! All right! We're good. <laughs> and I'm flipping Look, this. Whenever you sign. want to talk about that uh, telegram you sent me, oh, you know. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> Why are you all right, doing I'm going two dollars. Two dollars. Two dollars. <laughs> oh Jesus. See if Muddy's doing 20. Oh, Muddy, no. Oh, Muddy. Oh, no. <laughs> Next open's gonna be on Friday, right? Yes. Nah, I'll just do ah. two. <laughs> now you're gonna lose because you're not betting at all. I know, right? Give me this. I'll take I'm it. Lucky. I'm not being peaked. Oh, God. Are you showing a 7? Yeah. Right. 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 It's not bad. Uh, as long as. Uh, oh, I'm motherfucker! Oh, Carlo, no. <laughs> oh, he needs the bust here. No, he's gonna have a ten. Yeah, God damn it. The sign. Oh, perfect. I can't believe I, I accidentally said that. Oh, yeah, I totally did say that. Oh, there it is. Nice. Shit. Damn, is he gonna go over? Raking oh. it in. Fuck. <clears throat> I'm doing all five. So, what would you like to hunt? Do some pigs, maybe? I'm going on a hunt trip. Yeah. He's going to teach me how to use a bow. There you go. I mean, not to pay, I just mean some other time. Oh my god. Give me that ace. Give me that ace. How to take down with the bow? Are they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, because they you have... gotta shoot him in the head. They have thick skulls yeah, and just... thick necks. The counting, I think. Damn. Okay. Um. <laughs> you can hunt whatever you want to hunt. I mean, I'm just uh excited to learn how to use a bow. See, now Michael, when you do this it's to really, me, it, really it increases <laughs> my <laughs> rage with you. Yeah, do you understand this? A, a, a cougar attack. You know, I think he feels I out of it. I, I mean, <laughs> one day Tammy's gonna get too fucking full. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. We could hunt. If you really want to hunt pigs, we could hunt pigs, but we could also hunt wolves. Oh, God. Um, Maybe I learn how to use the bow first. Oh, it, 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 it's simple. There's no way he's gonna oh. get it. Oh, my. Man, yeah, look, so you wouldn't have fucking said All right. Tires, motherfucker. One day, Michael, you'll reap what you saw. No, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna take my bunk. <laughs> All right, uh, Fred, you mind if I use the bathroom real quick? Fucking sure. Alright, I'll be right back. Real shit. Well, come in. We were just about to do the last round. Uh, well, sure. Mm 
Oh, I got 20 bucks. I'm gonna eat tobacco. Ooh. to do the last run so you can uh, okay. um... mate you might be having some packet loss issues yeah All right, is that better? Wait a minute. Yeah, it feels much smoother. Okay, yeah, I had, dude, I had to drop my, uh, my output, my bit, right, majorly. I guess they're having internet issues. Why is there something I should be worried about? I, 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 I got two suspects. Okay. Yeah, we'll do. Oh. Okay. So. Oh. Uh, are no, they are they here? Uh, sounds good. Have not have seen. Have a good one, Carlo. Okay. Um, go I'll go check my telegrams. Are, yeah, what? they are oh. waiting for the Fowlers, so like. Take care. Seven. They're they're bound to be here soon. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, much smoother. Okay, good, good. Yeah, dude. I don't know what was going on. Normally, uh, you know, I stream at a good bit rate, right? And I had to like drop it in half. It's crazy. Maybe even a two thirds. I noticed that when I started streaming, I was like, well. So I um, might be having, some, they might have technical difficulties right now. They meaning my, uh, my internet provider. Every so often they'll have trouble.
where they have to go and uh, fix the line or something or, you know, who knows. So how are you doing today, Sephoff? Sephoff. Can't do much better <laughs> about bully side. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping to get a hold of these two kids that I met and maybe give them an incentive. Try to teach them everything I know. Uh, I mean, I can offer it. Give them a job, give them a place to stay. Teach them everything I know and then... Uh, who knows what might become of it? Howdy. Hi. Um, you okay? Oh, uh, yeah. I thought uh, for a minute there, I thought you were somebody else. Sorry. No, sorry to disappoint. Is that Mati Vreba? Uh, yes, sir. Oh, my God. And you probably oh. don't remember me, but my name is Maxime, but I don't know if you recall Vanya. Yeah, 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 I remember you. Yeah. Uh, uh, hey. <laughs> How you been? I've been, uh, well, I, I am an entirely different person from the last time we met. Um, but I've been pretty good, all things considered. Oh, well, that's good. I'm still an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're, still, you're still at the bill. <laughs> bills. Um, and I pulled them off. <laughs> Listen, I think you look fine in your belt buckle belt. Thank you, Ian. Thank you. How many belt buckles you got on there, though? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You just want an like... excuse to look at my ass. I know. <laughs> if I want to look at your ass, I'd just look when I throw you down on the floor like I usually do. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Should have run in the oh. fucking harbor. I knew it. <laughs> Hey. Oh, in Maxime? Mm -hmm. If you could say to Fanny next time you see her, is the whole uh, situation is, is done. I have a letter from uh, the lieutenant saying that uh, all clear. Oh, fantastic. That, uh, appreciate that. Um, yeah, do course. you know how to get people, you know, um, that might have a charge for bank robbing? Is that something you also can fix? Uh, is uh, I, I come over here <laughs> to <don't laughs> do it. No, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. Don't worry about it. I like oh, just his it verbiage for it. He's like, he's like, can you just fix this? Make it go away. <laughs> I mean, it is possible. <laughs> I don't think so. Not in this case. It depends how recent it was, but. Uh, Wait, Maxime. I'm looking here at my like, telegram. Something seems door. different. Uh, what does it say? I don't know. Something just seems different here. What's the last name? I don't know. My name? I think it is. Hello, handsome. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll just lean right back. Keep back. Wait for, uh... He's responding, Eddie. What I usually do when I meet new people that are not familiar with the territory, what I usually do is take them out, I train them. You know, kind of show them the ropes a little bit. And then eventually they're able to just fly off on their own, you know what I mean? I'm hoping to do the same with them. But, um, it'd be great for uh, some good RP though, you know what I mean? I always like uh, meeting new people. Oh, yeah. When I play as Muddy, I like meeting new people. I should say. As Dallas, Dallas, uh, I don't know, he's a rugged old man. I don't think they want to change, but who knows? <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. I know. They might not want to change. And that's perfectly okay. You know what I mean? I'm not here. The, yeah, I'm not. 
My uh, Muddy's intentions are not to reform him. Uh, it's pretty much just teach him what he knows, how to cook, how to craft, um, pro provide a house and a job they can do on their own. You know what I mean? Whatever they make is their money. I have. The only thing is, um, they will be working under my business license, and that that way, if they ever get robbed or anything like that, they won't. You know, all that shit's insured, right? Like, they'll be uh, they'll get compensation for it. Like, may not be the whole total amount, but we will get some kind of a repayment for having their stuff stolen but I mean if they want to continue robbing stores and banks or whatever they want to go do I mean that's up to them hell I mean even Muddy did that Muddy robbed stores and shit they only got caught once <laughs> I think that was Hazel right there. All right, off to bed. Hopefully, you'll get retained some viewers with this relatively smooth stream. Hey, have fun. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by and letting me know about my stream, man, so I can help it. Howdy. Is that Eddie? It's not Eddie Baker, is it? Yeah, man, you have a good night's rest, dude. I'll probably be crashing out myself in a few hours. Not tired. Oh, there she is. I'm to worry about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's go. Um, yeah. uh, 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 it's been a while, mate. Oh, we saw the to Hazel, right? Yeah. And um, is this your brother Eddie? No, no, this is Domi. Okay. Um, are you still interested in what I have to offer? Regarding work, yeah. Okay. I'd be happy to take some work. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's talk across the street so uh, we won't be, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, there's like, a lot of people. Couldn't wait for this part of St. Dennis. 
Oh, yeah, Tommy, you can come along too. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna have me a cigarette. Yeah. It's alright. Tend to smoke quite a bit myself. Yeah, I know how it goes. Um, talk to uh, Archie Cassidy. Uh, he said he knows of y'all, and um, y'all also work at the Black Mischief, or what's it called? The Black Master. Yeah. Master. Go in and clean the place. Okay. Um, what I what I have to offer is pretty much. I usually do this to, uh, just people at random. And what I usually do is take people under my wing. Um, I teach them everything I know. Um, but that's on this, like, uh, on the other side of this. What I have to offer is this. Um, I own a business called, uh, Rivers Food for Your Horse. And... Uh, I do recall you mentioning. Yeah. Um, basically, we sell um, apples, wild carrots, hay, and uh, candy canes. And how I structure it is just pretty much like this. Um, you advertise it in a public telegram saying, hey, River's food for your horse. And, you know, if you want to give out your P.O. box or whatever, or your name, you know what I mean, uh, go right ahead. Uh, I do have a set kind of amount of how much we charge. And, of course, whatever you make is your money. I don't take a single cut from it. All you would have to do is uh, put it in the work, a little bit of work at a time. It doesn't have to be done overnight or anything like that. Um, it's just uh, there are times that I cannot be awake. And then there's times that I can be awake. But I'm trying to structure it where we'll have uh, people w awake at, you know, the more the most populated hours, you know what I mean? In case people need, you know, food for their horses. I mean, and there are people that will buy a, a whole ton of apples so they can make their apple cider, apple pie, and all that stuff, right? So, I mean, and... Um, so whatever you make, you make. And you sell to whoever you want to sell to. If you don't like the fella, or if you don't like the person in any way, you don't have to sell to him. Um, I already have a business license under it. So if you get robbed, uh, if anybody takes any of the, your product or your inventory, you will get reimbursed. Because it's uh, insured under the business license. And what I'll do is I'll have your name under the business license. And if you know of anybody else like your brother or maybe even Tommy here. Um, I can put your name under the business license. And do you all know how to make hay and know where to get wild carrots and apples and stuff? Uh... Well, I mean, I'm sort of learning, but, uh, gonna be honest, if you need, need carrots and whatnot, uh, my best bet is that it might be around Blackwater. Uh, correct. Yeah. You just go to Beecher's Hope. You pick what you want. Um, for me, because a lot of people know me, I go, I go crazy. What I'll do is I'll go harvest like 500 grain and turn all 500 into hay. And I'll do the same thing with apples and carrots. That way that supply usually lasts me for a whole month, even sometimes three months. It, it really depends on how many people are buying. Um, all you would have to do is, yeah, uh, all you would have to do is just you know, keep up with your inventory, I guess. Uh, if you want to, you can create a ledger. Uh, I don't know if you know how to do that or anything like that, but I usually do 
just in case we get audited by the government. But uh, that hasn't. I've been doing this for over a year now, so I haven't been audited yet. So you could probably avoid doing that if you want to. But then you get yeah, audits are pretty rare. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then aside for that. Do y'all have a place to stay? I've just been staying at the slums here. Kind of familiar, so it's not so bad. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. So, what I have to propose to y'all, you, your brother, and Tommy here, is not only the the business side, to how to make money while you're out. Say you get bored, you want to make your money with the business, you can do that, right? But I also want to offer you the opportunity to learn everything I know. And you can, you know, I guarantee you within a month or two, you'll be able to spread your own wings and fly and do whatever the hell you want. You'll find your avenue doing that. Um, now, as far as the bank robbing and all the other stuff hey you know what i mean that you do you you know what i mean don't even worry about that i know i'm a prison guard and all that stuff but what you do on your personal time is what you do you know That's um, fair. yeah i mean i i used to rob stores and shoot people down myself so uh, uh i'm not one to judge um but yeah uh I would like to give you all the opportunity to learn what I, what I have learned. And, um, and you can take that knowledge and take it wherever you want to go with it. I'll offer you a, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yes, considering the D DOP saved me life last night. Oh, I did, did they? One, so... Oh, well, you, you really don't owe anybody. They're just doing their job, but if you feel like you need to, but then go for it, you know? Oh, yeah. It's just that last night, we, we sort of had it out in the wagon a bit when they, they uh, had asked me to come along and uh, realized who it was. I was stressed right out. Had a gun to me yet. And, uh, what not previously, and, you know, apparently the fellow they was transporting died. Ah. Uh, what was the fellow's name? Um. Was it, uh, Daniel Baker or something? Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, I read the report. Mm. I wasn't well, I sure. I about that. It's got me sick to me stomach, it does. So he put a gun to your head? Not Daniel Baker, no. The firing line. They're back? They're back. That's what that all was, all was about, if you check the reports. Well, I only kind of skimmed through it. Look, I'm not all uh, bad. I don't, Even though your I don't boss know, me, to tell you the truth. I'm not all bad. I don't know if you, anybody can turn to the public bounty, but you can get a portion of it if you tell them where they're at. I'm willing yeah. to do the honest work, and I'm willing to pick carrots and whatnot. I don't quite know how, but I'm sure it's easy enough to figure out. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's pretty much the, I guess if you had to put it in terms of like building a house for yourself, it's pretty much the, you know, foundation structure. Just do a little here, a little there, and then I had like people go off and become uh, lawyers. I had some people become uh, like deputies and then other people, well, they'd be, you know, you know they brew their own alcohol and stuff because I taught them how to do all that stuff and you know so yeah 
I'm learning a bit here and there. Yeah. But definitely it, keeping up with the honest work. Yeah, um... And don't stress too much about it, you know what I mean? Um... Well, I mean... I don't necessarily feel good about what, what, what has happened and... You know, the, the whole kidnapping thing just makes it more, worse. Well, do want to just do honest work. Mm -hmm. But I also understand the also. I also understand the struggle to survive sometimes too. So, but well, uh, you know what it's like. What, what was your reason for knocking off the stars? If you don't mind me asking. Because I didn't work. Want to work in the fields. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you believe that? What? What? Part of the hard? It's ironic. Yeah, I uh, I started robbing stores. I never got caught. And then eventually, I wanted to make a name for myself, and so I came up with the business. And then, the one time, I decided to do another store. I got caught, and. That was the last time I'd done it, and that was like back in what September, I think. So you can understand how it makes you feel when that that's all going on. But gonna be honest, uh, I I did want to leave Mr. Apollo and his girly friend alone. I never want any more trouble from him. I just want to move on with my life. Yeah, just absolutely. They, they's acting all scared of me. Yeah, I noticed Apollo was giving you a damn lecture and shit like that. But... Well, he pointed a gun to the back of Eddie's book and ads. He did that. that. Well, yeah, he did when we was on the boat. Eddie had nowhere to go, and he was certainly complying. He was just about apologizing. Fuck. He's fucking apologizing me. Some people don't have a... They have like a shit full of brains. They don't have no common sense. I apologize for that. Well, I get that, but... It seems like... Everything's happening after that. I'm just creating more problems for the fella. Poor guy. Well, How's he holding guys, up? Poor Eddie. He's been depressed. The, the boy's been practically emasculated ever since. And you know, th there's something about it. Eddie didn't even have to be on that boat going to Sisica. He chose to do it. He chose to be there. You know why? Because huh. he was given 25 months for a store. Uh -huh. There was more crime. My problem, not it. And he got a gun to the back of his head. That's why I got grief with uh, Mr. Apollo. Oh, God. Sounds like Apollo got himself into some deep water. Yeah, whatever your beef is with him, don't even worry. You know, that's with him. But I am sorry to y'all have to go through all that shit. Some people are just... Assholes. I, I get that that it, it is the job of guards to have to point guns on at people sometimes, right? I get that. Mm -hmm. But th there's a time where it's necessity, and there's a time when it's, it, it's excessive force, and that was excessive force. Well, there's a lot of shit going on in Siska that you're probably not aware of. I know, and I don't expect you to tell me either. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, some people don't know how to keep up with your head. I don't know. Fuck. Well, I figured you, you should know. Oh, that the, ba I do the feel Discord that said that? For Mr. Apollo's problems. And I will try my best. So, I'm happy to work for, for you. And when I get a good stock, it. I, I will, 
but more than kindly deliver it to you. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. I'm just giving you the opportunity to, to make yourself some money. You don't have to give me anything. Um, well, it's your business, right? Well, yeah, as long as you're advertising the business, that's good enough for me. I mean, that's how I always ran it. I don't take uh, I don't take cuts from the people that work for me. As long as the the advertisement is there and people know they can come to our business and they can buy whatever food, whatever they need, and we can provide that for them. That's all it is. I mean, and whatever you make is what you make. Um, whatever I make is what I make, and whatever so Egan Stewart or uh, Stewart makes, that's how much he makes. Uh, it's all up to you. Um, I do want to let you know that I do have a house. Uh, it's outside of Rhodes. You are more than welcome to stay there. I have a crafting bench there, and I can show you how to get your own crafting bench. It's got a cooking pot in the, the furnace, so you can cook whenever you need to. Uh, there's a spread bedroom. Y'all can have the bedroom. I'll sleep on the couch. No big deal. And not only that, you can fish right outside the house. You can do some fishing off, off the pier. And if you want to sell your fish, you can sell the the fish to the to the guy that lets us stay there or lets me stay there, you know. Well, if I might so kindly rebuttal, you can take the, the the girl out of the slums, but you can't take the slums out of the girl. Oh, I see. Well, okay. Well, the offer's always there. Thank you. So many tips for someone new to. <laughs> Yeah, and, um, have y'all ever been introduced to a cooking book? Uh, I did find a couple that was on wholesale over at the market. Okay, well, what I've been doing is making copies of the cookbook that I have. Now, it doesn't have all the recipes that are here in the state, but it does, it, it does, uh, provide some of the recipes and it's a good starting point uh some people end up uh, going full hardcore on the recipes and try to figure out every single recipe that the state has to offer like making guns making weapons making alcohol making food uh making rope uh making medicines um some medicines you can't make because you're you have to be a doctor. Um, there's all kinds of stuff in the recipe book. And that's something else uh, I think everybody should have when they're in the state. I mean, otherwise, how the hell are you going to figure out how to make turkey dinner? Or how are you going to make cornbread? Well, you know. So, yeah. Uh, I found, like, three, three recipe books. And, uh, you know, I've, I've just been reading through them. And... Oh, so you? Okay, so you do have a copy of one, right? I got the ultimate recipe book. Okay, what's the name on it? Like the title of the name, because there was like two different cooking books at one time. Yeah, it's the ultimate recipe book. Covers everything bread to knives. Okay. In fact, uh, I did make a few. These things are right, Bobby Dazzler. They is. Yeah. Throw a knife. Yeah. Okay. That's the same recipe book I got. Uh, I don't know how. Um, how good are y'all with guns and stuff? But uh, I do have another book that I can give you. It's a catalog book, and it tells you how. It, it's an actual catalog with pictures in it, or drawings in it, rather, of what you can do to your weapons, such as what handles you can put on there, what sights, what um, engravings, all kinds of other stuff. Because uh, normally when you go to the gun store and you say, like, Nathan Burke, right, he has a, what's it called, the 
the black something, the black bird or something like that. Oh, I can't remember the name of it. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah. Yeah, if you go to him and you're going to be like, hey, I want to get this customized. He's going to be like, okay, what you want done to it. You're going to want to know all your options, right? You want to know, like, okay, what can you get do to it? Well, I can provide you um, a catalog that I was given a long time ago, and you can show you everything you can do to your hand, uh, your pistols, even your rifles, uh, even your bows, sawed off shotguns, all kinds of other stuff. So it might be uh, an interest to you. That'd be right, Andy. Uh, anything you want in return? Uh, all I ask is for your honesty. You know, that's it. You know, if you uh, can't make a sale or you can't be around on certain days or um, if you're struggling, like, you don't want to go harvest all these wild carrots and stuff like that, just let me know and we'll figure out something how to you to get to have that inventory you know what I mean if you're in trouble if you're ever in trouble just let me know you know what I mean I I'll do what I can to get you out or or you know what I mean if people are fucking around with you just let me know so I can help you out things like that just be a friend that's all that well I mean I am stressed Lately, they have been very stressed with uh, this whole firing line business, and what what happened to me the other night was it was insane. Now, this is not not just looking for like yeah, your worst of your worst. They'll take any common criminal, history or otherwise. I know, I know so, the fire line very well. He's not safe. I'm not safe. Fuck. Just about everyone I know is not safe. Well, just look at it this way. The fire and line are people too. They can bleed just like any other man. They stick like cops they does. Mm. Bad cops. You see them. They draw a gun on you. You draw your gun. You defend yourself. You have every right to. You know who these firing men used to be? Old Marshals is what I was told. Yep. Uh, one of them uh, goes by name. Hey, <laughs> this is a cool thing. Thank you for the sub, man. Appreciate it, Daniel. Thank you. Yeah. A lot of them were senior deputies, marshals, under sheriffs, and stuff. They put down their badge. Yeah, they put down their badge to be uh, a vigilante. And. They feel like they're doing justice to the state and all this other stuff. But they're, Last... they're fucking with everybody's business and it's pissing people off. Yeah, yeah, I know. Seems like it goes over, goes around every year, so they'll come, they'll shoot people down, then they'll leave. Then they'll come again, and then they leave. From what I hear, the main guy that used to run all the whole fire line got done in last year. But, uh. uh said his name was like Dick A or something. Uh, Delgado. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Now, uh, another guy by the name of Aaron Hunter. It's the one that runs the show. But look. You have yourself what does a. Look like? Um, to be honest, I I've never met the guy. I just really know. Shit, I wouldn't even know if I seen him. <laughs> oh. I mean, all I know is that they love wearing all black. They, look, you know what I mean. So. Yeah. But look. And the the horses are fox trotters, skull faced. Ah. Uh. Well, I'll tell you what. You have yourself a gun. Don't be afraid to use it. Especially when it comes to them. If it's a 4-on-1, uh, 
I don't think I'm going to be winning that one. Oh yeah, well, that's a different story. <laughs> Everybody's on high alert right now. Nobody knows who they're after or what they're after. But they love to spread fear in the state. That's one thing. Well, but what did Mr. Baker do to deserve that? I heard him say, pleading, that all he was doing was robbing stores. No. Baker has no. history. I get Baker has history, but all the same. From what no. I've been told of the Haggins, it's just a common thing that they do because they're desperate all the same. Yeah. You know how long the Hagen's been around? Forever. This yep. one in the Mufusla, I've been told. Yep. So, I imagine they're after Baker because they always been after Baker. They're not gonna stop. They're relentless. That's just how they are, I guess. Well, as I understand it, Baker might be in the grave. That's very likely fucking dead. That's well, a bit of information that you didn't hear from me. Well, I don't know. I haven't read the full report, but yeah, appreciate that. But uh, that means they're gonna probably move on to their next target on their list, whomever that is. Well, if I might be honest, can I trust you? Can I? Okay. Yeah, shoot. You can keep your lips tight. Absolutely. Alright, so I know something. There's a gunshot in the jail cells when Baker was being transported. He was being led to the doctor's office, and then this whole thing kicked off. Meanwhile, the guards. He was standing in front of the redhead gen gentleman, and I think it was, uh, what's his fucking name? Duke Brown. They were standing in front. I'm sure it was Duke. Duke? Yeah, they, they you mean the assistant warden? Well, I guess so. But they, they waved to me. I go just get spent the last 20 minutes over here, her, as she asks us, can she just... getting ready to transport, I ride off. Huh? Just kind of tr trotting along up to add out and get some country air. That's when I got snaggled. I should wonder... I always had a theory. Stinks like there's an inside man. Exactly. I always had a theory that the def some deputies help him out from time to time. These fire and line people. Or, I don't know. But I never could prove it because I never had any dealings with them, you know? I mean, I'm just a small fish in a big pond, just like you are, you know? Well, it seems like they shot him to debilitate him. And put him in a position where he could be executed easily. Sounds that way. As the, the whole trade off. Tickety boo. I saw him in roads. I knew there was trouble. I fucked off. They followed me to Valentine. And then they, they, they nabbed me up. Yeah. It sounds like something they would do. They're smart they was, but not smart enough not to leave names. I need to get that other name off you again. S sorry, what was it again? The, the one running the show. What, Delgado? Or Aaron Hunter? Hunter, yeah. That's the one. Eh, interesting. 
I wonder how many people, how many names are on his list now that he's back. But they knew that I was a criminal, then they'd most certainly shoot me. Hmm. Might be right about that. Then I'm trying to do good. You know, it's funny. Pick it out. Look. I committed aggravated attempted murder in the second degree back in July. No matter how much I fought the government or anything like that, I was still I still had to serve my sentence. The guy almost died, right? Yeah. So it doesn't matter if I get in an expungement according to the state. If you're on their list, they're on the list, that's what I'm thinking. I just don't know how they get the, these names and all that other stuff. And who they categorize, like, who needs to be on that list. You know what I mean? I mean, are they... This is just me thinking out loud. Are they just going out after everyone? Or are they just going out at just a select few that need to be in their eyes dealt with or something I don't understand their their logic it's what I'm trying to say uh, make me quite friend of myself I mean I can't speak for him because he hasn't really done much but myself I could be in a lot of trouble and How so? he name now. oh you mean Eric in trouble with Aaron and Hunter? Or are you in trouble with the? You talking about the deputies and stuff? Well, when I figured out what they, they was up to, yeah, mm -hmm. they stank like lawmen. They didn't have the traits. They didn't have that sort of. How do I put it? Je ne sais quoi of a lawman. Ah, uh, see. Just another outlaws. They had the tactics. They certainly did. But I saw what they was doing when they was uh napping me up. Second that wagon left town, they was hurrying me to come along. Put me gun away and get on their horse, they said. The obvious answer was he was chasing the fucking wagon. How many men were with them? Uh, four? Yeah, there was four. Hmm. There's a blonde fella and three of us, including a woman. Were they all blacked out or no? They was blacked out. Something odd strikes me with this whole situation other than the shooting in the deputies department. Mm hmm. What's that? The wagon turned around. He, he turned it around. Didn't go to, its, to its usual dog site. It turned around and for St. Dennis. Yeah, that's uh, comp protocol sometimes. Well, we don't uh, always go to the exact location because just in case situations like that occur and it looks like. I don't know, but yeah, you might like be right. Psychic. Yeah. It was like they knew where to go. Well, and why would the driver go to the docks or go towards the docks and then zip around towards St. Dennis? It doesn't make sense. Something's not adding up. It stinks. Being a street rat, I know when something smells bad. Domi can contest to this one. It's way above my pay rate, I guess. I don't know what's going on. I don't get paid, so pay grade don't really matter to me. But again, maybe, you didn't hear this one from me. Maybe it'll be a good idea for you to just... Don't worry about the business stuff that I offered you. Just wait a while. Lay low. 
You know, I mean, you do whatever you want, right? But some fun picking carrots every now and then. Well, if, I mean, it might be something that I could do, but all the same, I'm kind of a, uh, you know, a little bit neck deep. Well, um, as long as you're safe, Demi, do you have a horse, or is that y'all's only horse? Mr. Dominic, I think does have a horse. No, I do not. You don't have a horse? She doesn't speak much. That's fine. Um, tell you what. You give me one dollar, I'll give you an Appaloosa that I own. It's fully tacked. I'll, fully trained. I'll pay you for more than what it's worth. A dollar's well, not enough. I know. I paid 85 for it. Work it worth your while. You paid 84 for it? Yeah. I'll pay you 60 for it. Fine. That's good enough. Here, um... How are you on, uh... Uh, I reckon y'all been practicing with the with the, the revolvers there, right? I mean, I've been practicing, but uh, all the same, guns is a new concept to me. Normally, I've been been using little pig stick. It's me old life. Well, uh, have you ever heard of the shooting tree? Uh, no. All right, it's time to take a road trip. We'll go to Rhodes. Right. I got a got a Appaloosa for you, and then we'll go to the shooting tree where you can have target practice. I'll buy it for you, mate. Don't worry. I just need to quickly stop by the bank, and I'll be back here in a moment. Sure. By the way, I have four hor four horses total, so if uh, Eddie needs one. You know, just swing him my way. I got another horse I can sell to him if he wants it. Yeah. Plus, the stable fees are expensive as fuck, so that's why I'm trying to get rid of them. <laughs> okay. This will wait for her. I appreciate it. No problem. Anyways, uh, I will say this much. Apologies for being so difficult with uh, the, the other DOP members the other night. I did make a statement, though, which is what they wanted. Yeah. I was just stressed at the time. Nah, I, I grew a soft spot when I saw you. Uh, no doctors came around to help you out, and then... When we picked you up in Annisburg, it was just like, you were just trying to survive, you know? I was like, damn, nobody's helping you, helping you out. Nothing. Uh, first fight is all the same. Alright. Uh, there's a bunch of us around, just, you don't always see them. Okay. Well, um, let's go up to Rhodes. I got two horses in case the, your brother comes around. If he ever wants a horse, just let me know. Because uh, stable fees are quite expensive, you might know by now. Okay? Oh, I get ya. Yeah, so I'll, I'll sell you the Appaloosa today, and then if Eddie wants the other horse, I can we can ar arrange that some other day or something, you know? Yeah, Eddie just needs a faster horse. Okay. Come on, saving up for him. I mean, right. just, just trying to help me mates out. Yeah, well, let's head off to Rhodes then. Uh, 
How good are you uh, with rifles? Uh, you know, got a little copy and it sort of uh, t sings all friends and whatnot. Mm, okay. Not a bad little gun. I'd like to figure out how to get the shotgun rounds into this, uh, well, under the. What, what, what's the word for this gun? Lamont? Oh, the Lamont. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably one of the best guns. <laughs> they hold uh, nine rounds, or you can put a shotgun shell, like you said. In it. I've never tried yeah, it out myself. So. Just a pain putting a shotgun shell in it. Yeah, I imagine. Sh <laughs> I imagine so, and then it only has one shot in it. out if I need it. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna head to the stables and roads and then um gotta make sure all the stuff is out of the saddlebags. Alright. We're gonna cut through uh Caligan Hall. We're gonna go straight to roads. Sad. I don't know. Part of me just wants to fucking cry. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Well, that's the way of the land, I guess you can say. Let's go left. in charge that it would be a shame to end me when I've got all this information rattling around in me and so I have a feeling they might come to call and collect on that one hmm. I don't know do you think they'll perceive you as a threat I mean... But considering I basically called their entire playbook in the span of five minutes when we was riding down from Valentine to the junction where this all happened I knew exactly what they was planning and how they was going to conduct it mm -hmm. I bet you that scared them a little Let's we'll have to wait and see what happens. Well, yeah. Well, I am scared, though. Yeah, I would be too, to tell you the truth. to Dominic. Okay. I'll pay for him. Figure you uh, it deserves that much. Oh god. Okay, can you go ahead and give me the money so I can pay these stupid st stable fees? 
I got $32 on me, so I just need like, what, $50? All right. Thank you. Oh my god. I got so much shit. Okay, um, are y'all hungry any? No, I'm not. I had a lot of turkey dinners. There you go. Y'all take what you want. Mm. I'll just be another moment. Hey, what's your lucky number? One. Okay. Alright, let me give it to you over right here. I already forgot his lucky number. 160. You should be able to pull out the horse now. Uh, yeah, just go to the guy. The yeah, horse's name is uh. Money. Oh, okay. Yeah, the horse's name is Deacon. Thank you. Fully tacked. Uh, more or less trained. You can rename him if you want. Let me get my other horse out. I gotta put all this shit on. Oh god. Kind of matches him, to be honest. The other horse I want to sell is in Saint Denis, but I'll just put all this stuff on the Hogan for now.
Got so much shit in here. Fix it up later. I think I'm about necking out. Uh, you a tiger? No. Just very badly need a cigarette after the scare. Oh. Uh, do you think y'all need these? Uh, what do you think, Tommy? Here you go. Yeah, uh, I'll take the cup. Uh, Tommy, if you'd like, take the frying pan and the bowl. I just had the worst scare in the bank, mister. Oh, really? Yeah, deputy came hiding around the corner and whatnot. I entered into the bank there and he just jump scares me. <laughs> Feeling a little cold and clammy here. Yeah, okay. All right. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get going then. <laughs> Thanks for doing this. Yeah, no problem. The shooting tree. Now, if you looked at, I don't know if you have a map, but if you look at your map, if you go north from here, you'll see like a, a picture of a little leaf. That's where you can buy like uh, wild things, like um, uh, like wild mint, wild carrots, um, flowers and stuff like that well the shooting tree is kind of nearby jeez i hope everyone on the server is as generous as you <laughs> no probably not let's try it out yeah it, it has all kinds of bottles hanging from a, from a piece of rope and of course uh people the locals like to come by and put new bottles on the rope it's a good place to practice One more thing. Hmm. If y'all see something that y'all recognize that's out of the ordinary, call it so I know. Alright. And Finn to help you keep your eye out as well. Alright, you see that big tree on top of that hill up there? Yeah. That's the shooting tree. Yeah. Now, most people are generous. It all depends on what character they, they're playing on. Because everybody has a like a good character and a bad character, right? Yeah, I see. I had bought four sets of cups, four sets of bowls. Four sets of lanterns and stuff for each of my horses. And now, I, the reason why I gave it to them is because, shit, I mean, I have four sets of that stuff. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> you can have more than one character. Oh, yeah. you can. I think you can go up to, like, eight characters. Yeah. Yeah, more than one. See, my main, like, my first character I ever made... His name was Tobias Bohannon. 
he uh but i don't play him but he was the the character that I started off on and it kind of helped me get used to the server or all the game mechanics and then i was like okay i'm gonna create muddy Ro oh, oh sorry and are you okay yeah. sorry about that yeah and then i created and then i made uh muddy rivers See if we can find a place to hitch our horses. We don't want them running off. Yeah. I'm just gonna take a minute to have myself a cigarette and get, get these jangled nerves off me. But, uh, I'm set to stop if you will into that. There's somebody over there. I don't know who it is. Alright, everybody hitch their horses. Trying to get on top of this so I can use my gut like binoculars. <laughs> All right, Jimmy. Uh, in that direction. Over there. In that direction, there was a guy over there. He might have moved. I don't know. I don't see his horse anymore. Go on. Go on. Old legs. Get up there. There's a Dutch warm blood over there. The five M paranoia is alive and well in red red M2. Do you have here? Yeah. Oh, no, there's a fellow over there on a Dutch warm blood. Saw him walking around. I don't know who he is. Just keep an eye on them. Alright. Okay. Here's the shooting tree. Alright. Yeah. Sometimes the locals like to ride by, so just... Make sure they're not around when you shoot them. You can practice shooting. You can run and jump. Practice your dives all over the, you know, all over the ground. However you want to do it. This is the shooting tree. Pretty much everybody comes here.
This gun is so heavy to use. It's not like using a double action. <laughs> yeah. I guess I'm gonna smoke me up some tobacco. Y'all want to try out a rifle? See how good y'all shoot? I got a little rifle. Yeah, you have to borrow one, one of mine. Alright, you see him? Two people on the horse to my left. I keep seeing that horse everywhere. You sure that's not your boss? My boss? Shouldn't be. Well, yeah, Apollo and, uh, well, Evelyn were, uh, in town earlier, over in St. Dennis, so in the oh. tele office, so I'm again in Rhodes. Oh, maybe. Alright, here you go. Who doesn't have a rifle? Okay, here you go, Jimmy. Try this. Here you go. Just me luck. All right. Let's see how good y'all aims are. And their dummy's probably pretty good. Oh. Tizzy Kendrick who shot a crow out of the sky the other day. Oh, did he? Yeah, he's pretty good. Sometimes it's hard to hit the bottles when they sway in the wind like that sometimes. But if you want to... Uh, I mean, sometimes over here on the right side, like to my right... You can get a better angle if the wind is like if the wind is too much you can just come over here and shoot from this side it'll be a little easier all right hold up let the local pass will probably shoot us <laughs> Back. Nine fifteen in the morning. All right, I'll do one more shot, and then we can go. Yep. All right. Okay. Well, I would like to show you my little cabin down there. It's pretty much the fishing spot. You're more than welcome to stay there anytime. But I know uh, what you already said earlier. So, um, but I still want to show it to y'all anyways. Uh, and there's a crafting table, like I said, and there's a furnace whenever y'all need it. Well, uh, considering the uh, bad folk around, I might have to lay low there for a while. <laughs> well, you're more than welcome to it. Sometimes you'll find somebody fishing over there, but I'll let them 
scare you any. I know absolutely squat about f fishing. But you've never been fishing. How about you, Jimmy? I've always said, tr tried to attach like a small hook to like a piece of twine and a stick and uh, what whatnot. But I mean, it was London. There was no fish in the fucking Thames. Well, what you got to do is uh, you look for the little splashes they make, right? Then you bring out your pole, and then you want to use your lure to put it on the, the pole. And then, you know, you just want to think, uh, you know, uh, hold the right side of the of the reel, and then, and then you just tap the left side of the reel, and it will throw a certain distance depending on where you're aiming. And then while you're there... Uh, whenever fish start getting close to it, you want to hold down the right side of the the reel, and then boom, they'll eventually bite it. And when you get the bite, all you gotta do is reel it in. It's uh, pretty standard stuff, but um, if they start splashing everywhere, uh, stop reeling in because you can break the line that way. If you break the line, they'll they'll just have to put a new line at the end. I got a fishing pole on me. Uh, I get ya. I might have to make a, a buy one or something. Yeah, I, I can let you try it out. It's, it's really not that hard. No. Alright, let's get going. see if I would do any prison guard work. I probably won't. I'm having fun just being a civilian right now. But you never know. Casa su casa. It's kind of nice having a little dog that you can reside on. Mm -hmm. As I said, there's your crafting table. And then you got your little cooking pot right there in the fireplace. Oh, hey. Tell you what, for the favor. Huh. Materials on me. Yeah, I need the iron and uh, need the lava straps. Just one moment. Okay. Yeah, more than welcome to come by here anytime, Jimmy. Um. Uh, and there's a bedroom over here. Not very big, but I figure y'all can stay in there and then I'll just sleep in the couch if y'all ever do decide to come over here. And then, of course, there's a back door over here. Takes you to the pier. 
Her voice is so good. Yeah, I know. And then you got the fishermen right there you can sell your fish to. Have you uh, ever fished before, Dimmy? No. Here, try it out. All right, take those two items. Okay, you see, you see the splash right here in front of me? See that fish right there in front of me? Yeah. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to use your lure. There you go. All right, hold down the right side of the reel. And then you're going to push the left side at the same time. Yeah, and then you'll end up throwing it. All right, straighten out your line. All right, all, all you got to do is uh, hold down the right side of your reel the entire time and then let the fish bite the lure when it's ready to bite. It takes a while, but they'll, they'll come to it. There you go. Now when it splashes real heavy, e ease on the tension. You don't want to be reeling it in. But if it's not splashing really heavy, then reel it in. usually the smaller ones that put up the bigger fight sometimes I'll even go to that little island right across the way and make me a campfire and just fish out there yeah, in solitude by the way, got your gift. oh thank you figure these could come in oh. at some point yeah, and that's just one. You give me three only. Thank you so much. Much appreciate it. Yeah, it seems like Demi got the hang of it pretty quick. I promise you everything's gonna be all right. Try not to think about it, okay? Yeah. There you go. I'm you get. To... Yeah, you can keep it, or you can throw it back, or you can fry it up, or you can sell it to the, the fishing guy right there. You can use the lure more than once too. Would you like to try? It? Sure. This, this, this gummy, give me the gummy, tired. Oh, you're tired. Alright, Tony. Yeah. yeah, I, I'm going for a nap. I'll be back soon. All right. Well. You have a good one. It was a pleasure meeting. Take care of yourself, all right? What is your name? Muddy Rivers. Uh. What? Uh, Muddy? What do you need, yeah. What do you need help with your company? Is this? Oh. Um. You can pick apples. You can pick wild carrots. Or you can pick grain. And with the grain, just turn it into hay, and then all you got to do is sell it. That's it. Whatever money you make is uh, 
is what you make. All you got to do is send out a public telegram saying rivers food to your horse and then put I got like apples, wild carrots, hay uh, for sale and then just put your name or your P.O. box number if you want and um, tell them to telegram you if you need it and but and um, I guess I'll have to send you the prices. Prices are a little bit tricky. Okay. I will think about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, this is only the first day we hung out, so maybe uh, maybe the next day or so I'll give you all the prices on everything. There's no rush yeah. to it. So, uh... So, I mean, can I just borrow you quick? Okay. <laughs> He's annoyed. Is there many mechanics to become familiar with on the server, or is it pretty bog, it's pretty bog standard? I'll, I'll show you in a minute. Oh, okay. Um, you might want to pick up. Uh, do, do you have the lure with you? Because you're gonna need that. Yeah, I'll just grab the other two. It's just uh, I might just leave yeah. me packs of cigarettes on the side here. <laughs> okay. All right, whenever you have the lure, just go ahead and use the lure. All right. Uh, this is a bit tricky. Oh, well, just thinking about, just think about a dragon, you know, the dragonfly drops off the use. And then use it. <laughs> there you go. Now you're going to point at where you see the little bubbles in the water. Where you see the little fish swim. Hold down the right side of the reel. There you go. Straighten out your line. Mm -hmm. And then all you got to do is hold down the right side of your reel until you get a bite. Oh no. Okay, when it splashes real heavy like, do not reel it in. Okay? Stop reeling it in when it splashes a lot. Because you'll break the line. Yeah. Wait for them to stop fighting and then reel it in. Oh really? <laughs> oh no. It, it, it. I think he did. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. Hold on. Uh, this is terrifying me. I've got a fucking snake. What? All right, go ahead and reel it in whenever. That's fine. We'll just shake it when it gets to shore. <laughs> I have never seen this happen. 
Here, I'll kill it. Hold on. Wait, that wasn't the snake? No, it certainly was a snake. Well, in my eyes, I just killed the snake. I mean, yeah. That. No, oh. I definitely caught the snake. Oh, okay. What the? I feel like I need to take a nap for a moment. <laughs> That's quite alright. Uh, I'm getting tired myself anyways. Uh, uh, it's more that a uh, well, little stuck. Oh no. Um, oh, you want to think about what throwing it back. Like? Either... Uh, no, uh, it's not working that way. Hmm. What would, what would happen? Oh, no. Okay. Just bear with me a moment. All right. Be sure to get your rod back. Okay. <laughs> I have to use the bathroom anyways. All right. Be right back, guys. Uh, 
horse keeps running off. Oh my god. Go away. I'm going to get it. Took me forever, but I got it. Yeah, uh, get your road real. Alright. Oh, dude, that snake deserved to live. <laughs> yeah, um. I would like to check my telegrams and then I'm gonna probably come back here and I'm gonna probably pass out. I'm already tired. I was thinking Sounds about good. going to do some work at the prison, but yeah, I'll do it tomorrow or something. That sounds like it's a stressful job. Uh it's not, it's just It's just right now I'm in training, so I can only be there whenever, you know, people who are already qualified. I have to have it like some kind of superior there. And then the only downside it is, is you just sit on an island all day, you know? Oh, yeah. But, if you think about it, I guess it's not bad for, 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 well, what you're there for, I guess, is to well, watch over prisoners and whatnot. Yeah, true. It's got it. Know what I mean? Yeah, it's got its ups and downs, I guess you can say. And indeed, in spite of their crimes, they steal people. Sometimes there's no prisoners or anybody awake, no other watchmen and stuff. And from what I hear, sometimes, not all yeah, the time. Point, if there's no, no watchmen and no prisoners up, then you might as well just yeah. spend your time go going out hunting or something. Right. <laughs> I get ya. Well, I get about 10 bucks an hour, so that's kind of good. So the longer I'm on the, the job, I'll make more money. Every time I see a white-faced fox trotter, I'm jumping out of my fucking skin. Is that what they read? White face spot trotter. Okay. Yeah, and uh, Hunter, I think, rides a steel gray Br Breton if he is, in fact, the leader. Steel gray. Okay. Yeah. all day, and it takes a certain confident person to be able to. I was deputies doing deputy stuff. <laughs> yeah. You know, gonna admit something to you, Mr. Muddy Rivers. Mm -hmm. This is the first time in your life 
that I've ever had a conscience about things. Oh, about, uh, since the incident? Yeah. Yeah, I can see why. I mean, your life is at risk. I mean, I think anybody would be worried. I mean, we're not 100% sure, but I mean, if you're in the thick of it, I think. It's not like I haven't been trying to get your uh, boss lady's gun back. I tried. Yeah. I know that it means something there, and fuck. That part's just eating away at me gut. Well, you can always send him a letter or send him a telegram or something. Or do, or do you think he's gonna try something? Look, considering Vince, that just made matters worse for all of us. You see. Howdy. Hello. Howdy. Tempest in the likes. Okay, so what did you take from him? What kind of gun it was? Short and Schofield. Okay. Well, I mean. Handle with a snake carved into it. That was taken from Evie Sanderson. Okay, so from Miss Sanders has the. Uh, the uh, stubbed Schofield, right? Yeah, it's not Schofield. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and check our telegram, sir. Well, is there any others? Or is that just the one? Just the one. Uh, I can... a job. It was money. I won't tell you who I'm working for. Uh, uh, the less I know, the better. Um, All I did was pay for a meal. Sounds good. I have another 200 hay on top of what I had. Hagen. Huh. Hagen's awake. Another, uh, employee, if I'm not around, you can speak to him. You can, uh, Hagen. sort you. Uh, Hagen. Hagen. It's A-O-G-A-N. How do you say that? Is it Og Ogan? Hagen? Uh. Stewart? Hmm. Or is it Argan? Argan. Owen? I'm not sure. I'm Here, not I'm gonna write it out for you. <laughs> That's his first name. Egan Stewart. Yeah, I think that's right. Okay. Um. Well, if you do want to give the gun back, just let me know. And... You can give it to me, and then I can give it to uh, Miss Sanders, you know? But it's up to you. Problem is, it's gone to the ether. Oh, did it? Oh, well. Then she sh shit it all up. I mean, that's all you can say. Oh, oh I want to see where you telegram. Howdy? Oh, there it was you. Yep. Oh, yeah, I guess he's in St. Denis. I'm going to probably go to St. Denis to go see if I can uh, speak to him. If he's around, you know what I mean? I would like to introduce uh, y'all two together. Cause, I mean, y'all are both going to be right. working for the business and stuff. So. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Oh. Yeah, let me telegram him real quick.
It's an Irish name. It's pronounced Owen. It means fire. Oh, really? That's how you say it? Owen. So it's not Egan, it's Owen, huh? Well, you ready? Yep. Alright, well, you have a good one. Hope to see you again. Stay safe. You will. Evan's always so soft spoken. That's uh Sonny Harris, a good friend of mine. You can it's always count on Yeah, well you should tell him. Y'all might hit it off, who knows? <laughs> I think you can What? She's not talking to me. I thought he was gonna come out here. <laughs> oh, he did it. <laughs> go ahead, go talk to him. Was weird. Did he just fade in like Yep. Oh, okay. Okay. So it's oh wait. Is it weird? Right? Like in in America we say it Owen. But if he's Irish, which he does have an Irish or kind of like a European accent, he says it Owen. I, I I can't say it. Like I, I butcher it when I say it. I feel bad for doing it. Try. Eat me some beef jerky. Oh, as far as game mechanics, right? Oh, hold on. <laughs> I take it it went well. Yeah. <laughs> well, are you gonna tell your brother about it? <laughs> uh, he's my best mate. But he's not blood related. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's the closest thing to your brother, though. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. So yeah, uh, I think his you pronounce his name Owen or Owen, Owen or something like that. I don't know. It's a. I think it was like an Irish name. So we'll meet up with this guy. I'll introduce to to him. So if I'm ever if I'm not around and you need some some help or something like that, you can always talk to him. Okay. It could be Scandinavian because they share common ancestry left All over right. the Vikings. Okay. Nice. True. So, but regarding the pistol business, I mean, I I've tried to get it back. Mm, I really okay. did. It would be the same name, just pronounced like. Oh, just okay. Just thought you should know. Yeah, that's fine. Some mutual friends are also aware of that I did try. So let me ask you, how long y'all been? Uh, you been in state? I've been in state a lot longer because of the, the circumstances in one which I left it in England. So you've been here for quite a while, I guess, huh? Yeah. Month and a half. Almost two months. 
Mm-hmm. Well, you're definitely, uh... Making yourself very popular, I guess. Yeah, there you go. Maybe that's the word. I'm sorry. I mean, I didn't mean to make light of the situation. It's just how I deal with things. So I won't go crazy. That's fine. I deal with things by pulling pranks on people. Oh, do you? Okay. I'm going to have to remember that if I get pranked. Yep. <laughs> I know who to look at. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I ever tell you the story how me and another friend named, uh, what was the name? Court Proctor. We went hunting for alligators for the first time, right? And, and, uh, we didn't have rifles at the time because we didn't have the money for it. So, Someone told me to just try to jump on its back and then stab him. I was like, all right. So I jump on its back. It spin around so fast and nearly chopped my whole darn leg off. That calf was hanging off of my leg and everything. It's a horrible mess. Oh, that's right, but it's terrible. Yeah, uh, looking at the marsh, like seeing the swamp as it is, it just kind of like brought back that memory. <laughs> I think I must have been laid up in bed for several months, godly. Walking around on crutches. enough fingers to count as many times as I've been on a kick by a horse or bitten by a wolf or, or a cougar or something. Yeah, Applejack can be a right bastard sometimes. Mm -hmm. That's why I carry tomahawks or lancing knives or something like that. You know tomahawks, you throw one at a wolf and they go down immediately. You can't handle the, the iron. That's why I always... That's yeah, true, true. That's why I'm always carrying, like, at least three tomahawks on me at all times. Gives me enough time to get on a rock or a wagon, look down at him, and then throw a tomahawk whenever I need to. Have you ever been to Grandma? I have, yeah. Really? Did you ever go through the cave and to the other side by the waterfall? Yeah. You did? Did you shoot the cannon? No, I didn't actually. Yeah, there's cannons up there that you can shoot. judge yeah but one up there with this little short french girl there's only one name that comes to mind when you said that <laughs> Colette yes <laughs> I met her but she was kind of Scared for her life. 
time though. Got someone eager to sell me cigars over in Blackwater. Oh, so you're going all the way to Blackwater? Yeah, shortly. Okay. If your friend doesn't show up. Yeah, he didn't respond. He hasn't responded to you yet, so. You're always welcome to put me in touch with him if he doesn't want to work the fields alone. Oh yeah, uh, let me get your PO, your PO box number, so I can add you as a contact. Yeah. So, seven six seven nine seven. Seven six seven nine seven. Maybe a blocky or something. Is that right? Seven six seven nine seven. Yep. Triple sevens and six nine in between. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna send you another letter with the prices I usually go by. That way, you'll already have it. You don't have to worry about asking who, how much do you sell this and that. All right? Just give me a moment, and I'll get that to you. All right. Sounds good.
Alright, let me get the shit out of you. Okay, I sent you a telegram. That pretty much, uh, I usually don't put the prices when I use a public telegram. I usually just say rivers move to your horse, apples, wild carrots, hay, candy canes, uh, telegram, muddy rivers, or PO box numbers 97317. That's what I put in the public telegram. You only have so many, um, so much room to put it on the telegram anyways so yeah hey you can just use it as an example or whenever you do yours or whatever but those are the prices um you know if you want to give somebody a deal or something like that or or you want to throw in the extra candy cane and stuff like that you can do all that's to your discretion um People do like buying candy canes for their horses. So okay. keep that in mind. Um, I, would you like to make them yourself? Or would you like for me to give you a few to, to start you off with? That way you don't have to go make them yourself. That's perhaps uh, e easiest okay. if I uh, figure out how to make them. That way... Uh... It's not cost me as much. Yeah. Uh, okay, let me give you some of the candy canes to start you off with. And you have the cookbook, right? I mean, so you can always... Yeah. In spite of my lack of literacy, I, I am surprisingly book smart. Huh. Here we go. This should be more than enough. All right. So thank you. Yeah, no problem. Um, you know, they don't sell like really fast or anything like that. So that should be way more than enough. Um, with candy canes, I think it's what corn, um, Water, obviously. Mm. Yeah. Wild mint. Uh, there might be one more other ingredient. I can't remember. I it's just regular sugar. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sugar. That would be it. So. All so, right. yeah. Yeah. I guess we're all set. You know, the prices, uh... I guess whenever you have the inventory, sell what you want. I wish you the best of luck, and I'm always here to help. So don't forget that, you know. Reach out to me yeah. or Egan anytime, okay? Well, rest assured, I'm staying out of trouble. And I don't intend to be, uh, you know, going around knocking <laughs> over stores. And, so. Well, I'm not going to think any less of you if... Uh, if you're back in Cisco at any time, okay? Just, well, if I do wind up in Cisco at any time, uh, I can assure you that it's not going to be a good experience for me. It's going to be a really <laughs> bad experience. And it scares oh. me and terrifies me. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm going to send a telegram uh, stating that you will be on the business license as well. So if you... Uh, ever want to need to contact Egan, uh, he'll be aware of you. And then, in case you ever need help or anything like that, you know, so. Right, vice versa. If he needs help, he can always reach out. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll put all that stuff in, in a letter and stuff. So, um, I guess this is pretty much it. Um, thanks for, thanks for hanging out. It was good, 
fun. Got to shoot. Yeah. Uh, you have yourself a good day, okay? Hey, you too. Alright, you stay safe. You cherish the gods, go boy. Letters. Address. And then I'll show you the, uh... Hello, Mrs. Hey. All right, got that over with. Okay, Nathaniel, this is the this is the up and up. Normally, uh, most civilians will have personal and they'll have public. If you're a part of the deputies or uh, a, a politic, like a like politician such as like attorney general and stuff like that you'll have access to the sheriff's uh line and you'll have access to the dop line and then you'll have access to the bounty line but um normally you just start off with personal telegrams and public telegrams public is where most people advertise their businesses like blackbird firearms and stuff like that um you can also send letters. Now, telegrams, you only have so much space. You can only type so much into a telegram. Now, letters, you can write forever. And you can send it, and they can read it. They added a feature some, uh, this year. Uh, an address book. Where you can add a contact. You just put their name. Make sure you have their, their P.O. box number. Of course, it doesn't have to be their whole name. You can just, like, for instance. Where is it at? Oh, I guess I put first and last names. Huh. Anyways. Yeah, so that way you don't have to go type in. You can just do it from here. And you can also delete it if you don't want it around anymore. And one of the... Things I noticed on um, on Wild West RP, there's two ways of doing things. You get like, for instance, emotes. You can have five favorite emotes, right? But 
There's also this entire list of different emotes. So whatever you do here, like for instance, bartender, I want to serve a bottle, right? I can either hit enter and he'll serve a bottle. Or I can just do it this way. Right. E serve bottle and then press tab to the one you want and then you can do it that way All right so whatever you pretty much you can also uh your clothing you can roll down your sleeves and all that stuff put your coat on All right your spurs you'll have an outfit menu where you can save your outfits I have like I don't know about four eight probably about nine different outfits that I like wearing um, you can buy livestock such as uh, sheep goats pigs and cows but you do have to feed them and everything and water them and I think cows produce the you can get milk from them and then I don't know. You can also get goat milk as well. How you doing? Uh, general. Like my crafting table. You can pick up your crafting table. It's like I put mine inside the house, right? But let's say I don't want to live there anymore. Well, you, because it's my personal crafting table, I can pick it up, put it back in my pocket, and go put it somewhere else. And then you can also repair your crafting table. So, cause, uh, you know, over time it weakens, like it starts to, uh, decay. So you just take a piece of log and you don't know, repair. Um, you, you can toggle your PVP, like you can be, you know, unfriendly, right? Or you can, or you can be friendly, right? Or you can just PVP right there and you can type it out. Right? Yeah, it's, it's pretty simple, straightforward. You got your expressions, right? Everybody uses normal, right? But when you're injured, you're injured. You know, everything is a little bit different, but. Like for instance, if I'm dehydrated, he's gonna wipe his sweat around like that. But he walks really, really, really slow. So most people just leave it on normal. And there's other ones, like you can walk like a prisoner if you want. And spool wire. <laughs> um Let's see what else. Oh, you can buy dogs and cats. How does one make a second character? Is it a matter of creating a second backstory, or can you just create? No, you don't need a. Yo, know, for your second or your other characters, uh, you don't need a backstory. It's good to have one just in case, right? But you don't need to submit it another application or anything like that you know you'll you'll have different save uh slots in fact i'll i'll show you what i'm talking about uh yeah let me show you Like at the beginning of all my streams. Hold on. I'm getting to the spot of my video.
Hurry up. This is a good one. There we go. Give me one second. Hold on. That had me puzzled. I kind of limited myself in my first character to see his elder gentleman who's good for nothing, but. <laughs> Currently stuck in Valentine with the pocket full of pipes and not even a horse in it. Oh man. Here, check this out. Let me do something real quick. Again. What? What? Never mind. I'm not logging in there. I'll just do a display capture. Here we go. All right. When you log in before you first start, like this is your first character, then you'll have all these slots to make new characters and the only character you need a backstory is for him for your first character all your other characters really don't need a backstory but it's good to have them in your mind you know what I mean like it's like something like like for instance Dallas Cobb doesn't have a backstory but I put a backstory for his character Saying that he was from Texas, he had an older brother named Russ that looked after him because his parents died and all kinds of other stuff. So it makes for good RP. So yeah. So yeah. Uh, but it's not required. I really need to make someone who can hunt or do a bit of physical work to get him started and get me used to the server. Yeah. Dude, once you get used to the server, oh my god, it everything starts uh starts snow, snowballing. Like everything just starts clicking on all cylinders, you know? So this is where I'm going to stop. Call it a night. That's a good RP with the... Uh, with the um, Hazel. So I'm going to sleep right here in the stable. Don't tell anybody, right? <laughs> all right i'm gonna put the scene on her right here all right guys so i'm starting to focus more on muddy because i don't know what's gonna happen to dallas in the future like you know for all i know somebody's gonna try to kill him for being a snitch which i don't blame him all right um, but I wanted to get some prison guard roleplay, but I didn't do it because I had such a good roleplay with, uh, with Hazel and stuff like that. 
Cool, many thanks for the help. Yeah, no problem, Nathaniel. Anytime you have questions and stuff, man, just reach out to me. You can always DM me in Discord and stuff. And also, uh, thank you for the tier one sub, man. I, uh, even though you didn't have to, but thank you anyways, man. I appreciate that. And, um, yeah, man. I look forward to, hopefully we'll meet, meet up in the server. Who knows, we can kick things off with something. It would kind of... Uh, be kind of great, right? <laughs> Alright. Well, I'll see y'all later, guys. Alright. Y'all have a good day.